tu mi farai morire. In June 2023, a new sentimental film made its debut in the Amazon Prime Video catalog, We're Talking About It's My Fault? Which exactly like after is based on a story originally born on Wattpad and then landed in bookstores. What immediately struck viewers was not only the story, which intertwines the events of a forbidden love with a small thriller twist, but the chemistry between the two protagonists. Leading the cast in the role of Nick and Noah, who from finding themselves half-brothers without enduring each other end up falling in love, are Nicole Wallace and Gabriel Guevara. Also following them on social networks and seeing interviews and their appearances together, a question arose spontaneously among the fans, the two protagonists of Ecole Palmia? They are together? To consolidate the doubt in the fans, who ship them regardless, were some shots shared by those directly concerned on Instagram. In reality, it seems that these shots are part of a photo shoot created to promote It's My Fault. Despite all this, however, it seems that the two are not together. As El Independiente reports, in fact, Nick's interpreter reportedly recently declared that he was single. How the It's My Fault trilogy ends, spoilers on the ending. The Spanish film It's My Fault by Prime Video is based on the Culpables trilogy of books. Summary of the three books of My Fault, Your Fault and Our Fault. The last two books of the Cool Pablis trilogy kick off about 10 months after the ending of the sequel, when Nick and Noah break up after she cheated on him. Both are headed to New York, where the wedding between Jenna and Lion will take place. The two know that on that occasion they will meet again for the first time. In the meantime, however, in the city Noah meets Luca, Lion's brother. The two begin to make friends and spend time together. Nick sees them and a certain annoyance arises in him, despite not wanting to have anything to do with Noah. For the days leading up to the wedding and during the wedding ceremony, they both do everything possible to make each other jealous. At one point the two have a confrontation and suddenly Nick kisses the girl. Despite this momentum and the feeling that both still feel, the young man, however, does not feel ready to return with her. After the wedding, Noah returns to Los Angeles for college. In conjunction with Thanksgiving, the girl decides to go home to her and Will's mother. Also Nick eventually returns to his father with Maddie, but nobody knows about the other, until they both meet again at home. Since the girl doesn't know about the breakup, Nick asks Noah to pretend for those few days that they are still together. In the end the two spend a night together. The girl, however, fears that Nick would regret it and so without saying anything she leaves for Los Angeles, where in the meantime she begins to work for a studio which she later discovers is one of the many activities of her ex. One day Nick arrives in LA to check his interests and thus discovers Noah, who in the meantime has started dating her colleague Simon. Once again Nick behaves in conflict with the girl, who at one point asks him to make a definitive decision. The young man lets her go. Nick takes the news well and the two decide to try again but to take things slowly, so the young man returns to New York. When they meet again at the airport, Nick is wounded by a gunshot, fired by a former colleague who had been fired. Will and Noah's mother also rush to the hospital and on that occasion the girl informs them of her pregnancy. Nick slowly recovers and then decides to move permanently to Los Angeles with his beloved. The moment of delivery arrives and Andrew is born. Thus begins their life as parents and future spouses, which one night is shaken by two figures from their past, Michael and Briar, Nick's ex who became pregnant by him, who then lost the baby. The girl's goal is to take the baby away, while Michael takes advantage of it to pick on Noah. Fortunately, the latter manages to call the police and everything turns out for the best. And they all lived happily ever after in the finale of the It's My Fault trilogy. After two years Noah graduates and many details are sorted out in the lives of both of them and their friends. After the party, she marries Noah and together they leave for the honeymoon. Eight years later, we find them happier than ever with a second child. It's Nick's birthday and Noah has a surprise for him, the Ferrari that he owed her after losing it during the race included in the first book and in the film. This is how the It's My Fault trilogy ends. It's my fault everyone is talking about it, and the leading actor Gabriel Guevara revealed that he was inspired by two now iconic stories to give life to his character, Nick. In fact, the star cited Twilight and Euphoria among his personal sources. 
GQ asked Gabriel Guevara about how he worked on a character as complicated as Nick, having to play the part of the bad boy, but not too much. Here's what the actor revealed, also citing some movies and TV series that he used as a point of reference and inspiration. Nick is an archetype. The writers wanted it to be less toxic than the books, and that was a good thing for me. Because I'm not like that. I was inspired by some friends, but also by films like Twilight, with the typical protagonists of Wattpad stories. Also to series like Euphoria, and to the character of Nate Jacobs. Above all, I talked about it with friends, also obtaining different points of view. Currently, the Twilight franchise is ready to return with a new reboot series, of which we still don't know anything. Instead Euphoria 3 is stalled due to the writer's strike, and could arrive no earlier than 2025 on HBO and Sky. The video trailer is in Italian with subtitles in all languages. Remember to press the CC button at the top of the video and choose the subtitle language as well. Go! Good vision! Tu mi farai morire. Mangiamo. Facciamo che tu mangi la pizza e io mangio te. Il suo sapore era ambrosia degli dei e di tempi lontani. Adesso che era fra le mie braccia, mi ero certo. Nessuno aveva mai desiderato una donna quanto io desideravo lei. Vederla seduta sul mio letto, con i piedi nudi, here we are. Of course we saw a short preview. You can see them whole in the YouTube channel of the voice actress and creator Julia Segrady. She is a voice actress and actress. With her voice it brings strong emotions. She is Italian. In her videos you can also activate all the subtitles. Just go to the YouTube video options and then choose the language. We talked to Julia. She uses her own voice in an innovative and particular way. And she is popular on the web. She opens her self-titled YouTube channel and starts uploading audio readings of modern books in collaboration with male voice Baron Mark Keel. She also does commissioned audio readings from many female writers. Julia and Barona are also a couple in real life. They met on the web. Senza di lui la maggior parte del lavoro non era possibile. Beh, ci siamo conosciuti attraverso la grande passione per il doppiaggio e per le letture. Julia was looking for a male voice for her projects and then she learned that she was a neighbor. You have dubbed some important films and participated in various famous Italian TV programs. Julia is also a Spotify artist. She realizes with her voice covers of her recited. She's a writer. She has acted in the theater in various shows and fairs. For some years she was also the speaker on the radio and currently she is the voice of important radio commercials. Her voice is also on Audible. In fact, she also makes audiobooks. In short, she does many things in one day. She likes to tease with her voice and has managed to work with her voice. She loves animals, she loves being with her boyfriend. It's hard to sum up her life. I suggest you visit her YouTube channel. There you can hear and see her work. While her private life and her other passions can be seen on Instagram. Io, insieme a voi, ho una lunga strada da percorrere. E mentre percorriamo insieme questa strada, altre persone si uniranno 